And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Howdy everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at an expansion for My Little Scythe called Pie in the Sky. So I'm assuming if you're watching this, you've already played My Little Scythe, otherwise this, this review won't make any uh, sense at all. So, you know, sometimes you know an expansion's coming for a game. How did we know with My Little Scythe? Because there were some empty spots for some more sibling seekers to be placed that weren't there, so we knew this expansion was coming. It has something to do with pie. That's good. But we also it's an airship, which makes sense because the the daddy of My Little Scythe is, well, Scythe. And Scythe's first expansion had an airship in it. So, or maybe it was the second expansion, but there was an expansion with an airship. So why would this one not also? This adds an airship, adds a little bit of extra stuff. Here you go. So first of all, this expansion adds two new factions. So you can see the, that we got the Owls and we also, the Foxland and the True WP Grey Academy of Magic. And they come with the different pieces that you need for them. The game also includes a fifth trophy token for all the original colors. And that's because in this game, you are going to get an airship ability. So at the beginning of the game, you can either take the one that matches your faction. So let's say I'm playing the Owls. I would take this one here, and you could put it next to your board on either side. Um, or you can take them and randomly give them out, even if it doesn't match your faction. It's up to the players as to how they're going to do it. Um, when you, What this does, though, is normally you have to do four trophies to win the game. The reason a fifth trophy is included, because when you play this way, there is now a fifth trophy. Also, if you're playing with the airship, you, will, you get a new seat card that will cover this up. This is just mostly to notify that when you roll your dice, you will now roll this new airship die. When you roll this, you're either going to roll a trophy or you're going to roll a six. The airship piece is going to start on the board itself. And when you move it on the board, you can either move it up to six spaces if you roll the six, or the number of your remaining trophies if you roll the trophy. So at the beginning of the game, you're rolling a five or six. But as you get fewer trophies, as you put more trophies on the board, you'll be able to move it fewer spaces. If it lands in a spot that has stuff on it, you can pick one of those up. If you're stealing it from another player, you can still do so at the cost of some friendship. When you pick this stuff up, you're going to be placing it into your hold here, the cargo hold of your ship. Then the cargo hold can be spent to finish a quest. So if I'm trying to deliver uh, a bunch of apples or gems to the, the castle in the middle of the board, it's a lot easier to do now because you can, not only does your figure carry them in, but you can also pull them from the cargo hold. Each player, when they roll this dice, can also use the special ability. There's a special ability of each of these. Some of these involve another token. So this one, for example, involves the forbidden pie. And this comes with its own specific token. You can put this, you can move this token to where the airship is. And whenever your seeker loses friendship in the forbidden pies region, you immediately get two pies. Forbidden pie. And so five of the eight of these actually comes with a, an extra token. We have the telescope where you can attempt to resolve any quest in that region. The gem sonar where you can add one to the airship space and get friendship if someone else is there. The replicator, the spotlight where I can put the spotlight token somewhere to get extra things. The magic vortex, the harpoon, the sable porter, and the crop duster. That's pretty much it that's included in this expansion. It is about the airship. We do have some more of these cards um, here. Adventure balloon, food truck, pie courier, and copycat. This one lets you copy an action from somebody else, which I like quite a bit. And then there's a couple more of the quest cards that are also included in this set. But that's pretty much it. 
As with the original game, it comes with a very nice rule book showing you how to paint the different foxes if you want to paint them separately. Um, the airship itself, a nice big plastic piece that's deliberately made so that you can take it apart so that it's easier to fit into the main box. And as you can see, here's the main box. You can see there was deliberately extra spaces for these characters and their colored pieces. The original dice for this game are fantastic and the airship dice looks just as fantastic. Components for this expansion are, of course, fantastic. There's also a little bit of a thing that tells you how to do it with the auto mounty rules and how you can play with that. And there's also a sheet of achievements that are also included in the game if you're trying to accomplish various things. Now, don't get me wrong. I want to be clear in the beginning. This expansion is a fine expansion, and I think a lot of people are going to like it. But this is the very definition of an expansion that you don't need also. So essentially, some people, it's going to drive them crazy. They're going to have to get it because there's holes in their tray that hold figures and they don't have them. Or maybe you just want the extra factions. That's fine. The airship moving around, there's definitely benefits to that. It's a lot easier to accomplish the mission of taking four hearts or four jewels in the center. That's probably the uh, missions, the trophies that I've seen done the least in the original game. Because it's kind of tricky. you got to drag all that stuff in there. With the airships, it's faster. So that's positive. More stuff, positive. The special abilities per faction, positive-ish. I like them, but they are A, they're not that fantastic, and B, they're not, they're a little convoluted on how they play out. So at the end of the day, I like them, but I would A, not play with this with people who never played before, and B, I could take it or leave it. Again, I like the more, the new cards, I like the new actions, the new die moving the airship is fun, and picking things up and putting it in a hold is fun. It slightly lengthens the game, which isn't bad. I mean, it's, it's like the slightest of length things because moving that airship also makes the game play smoothly. And, and I think it's fine, it's just that I wouldn't go out of my way to get this. Now, this is starting to sound like a negative review, and I don't mean it to be. It's cool. Great components. If you like the single-player stuff, I think this is really good for that. Um, the extra factions are neat. What does the fox say? He says, get the expansion. And if you really are looking for something different between the players, that's there. Having the tokens out, it is fun because you might, uh, hey, we're playing the Bears or whatever the faction is. I want to feel like I'm doing something different than everyone else other than just being a different color. That's here too. So it's up to you whether you think you need it or not. If you play my little side all the time, then yeah, you should get this. You play it once in a while, you're not sure how you like This isn't going to change your mind. This isn't going to make you like it uh, suddenly if you're not a huge fan of it. Uh, just to be clear, my little side, I think, is one of the best kids' games ever made. This is a good expansion for that amazing game. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment approved.